Okay, okay. Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. What's going on, Virgos? Hi, my loves. <laughs> Let me tone it down for my calm ones, okay? Come on in, come on in. Wake it up. I am here. What y'all doing? It's sure is dry over here in, in YouTube land. Well, welcome to your video. This is going to be your daily message and a quick read and a nightcap. Well, I might come back and do another one. Let's see how this one does, okay? Look, we always want everyone to be number one. So let's try to make all of our videos number one, Virgo. How are my lovies today? I miss you guys today. I got so much done. I've been doing readings and house stuff and different things, okay? Y'all got to stay dedicated to the promises you made yourself in this new year, okay? Me included. So I'm staying on top of the game. What y'all doing? Y'all on top of the game? Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you on today. This is beautiful, beautiful Thursday Eve. The energy feel kind of, is it dry today? What's going on? How is your day going? Thank you guys for tuning into our sister channel, Tarot Tea with Goddess Meek, to check out your video for today. I did post for Virgo today. You can find the videos I post over there on the community tab. Let's go ahead and dive in. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, bless us going in and coming out. We thank you for victory. Thank you for your divine hand of protection around us each and every day. Thank you for blocking and binding familiar spirits, unfamiliar spirits, and monitoring spirits. We claim victory in every situation we may face in abundance and overflow. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Let me stop. <laughs> Look, I had to get our sage. We don't know what's coming out. Look at this. Guarded, ego, toxicity. You see why I got the sage? Okay. Let's see how we can battle this demon today. Let's see who's messing with you or who's thinking about you. What's going on between you and your person? That's what this is, okay? Spirit says, most of all, remember that things are changing in your life. Things may seem difficult. It's because you're going through a spiritual awakening. Just woo Virgo. Breathe that thing out and take it in stride. You're powerful, more than strong enough to handle whatever you're coming against. So, baby, control your situation. Don't let your situation control you, okay? You got this, all right? You got this. You're equipped for this, all right? Not only that, you got a blessing, some type of money or blessing on the line, okay? So, Spirit said, oh, stand firm, Virgo. You got this, all right? Some of you guys, um, when it comes to some type of commitment, this could be about your money. This could be work. Or this could, this is good news right here, okay? But I feel like first you have to work your way through whatever this is up here. Um, somebody could definitely be dealing with some type of toxic pattern, toxic habit, or whatever this is. And I was just talking about our dedications to ourselves that we made for this upcoming year. 2024 is the year of open doors, Okay. 2023 was all right with me, but 2024 is the year of open doors. So I need y'all to get on that, that bandwagon, get on that bus, okay? Um, the Spirit sent you a boat. God sending you a life raft, a Uber, a water Uber, whatever. Get in it, okay? Leave the drama behind, okay? You too blessed to be stressed, all right? So let's move on and see what this is and see what Spirit is trying to tell you. But there's some type of situation here unfolding that you feel guarded about. This could have something to do with work. It could also have something to do with love, okay? Something could have something to do with money. But Spirit is saying, baby, trust in divine timing. Everything is going to work out as it should, all right? Everything is going to work out. All things to get, work together for the good of those who uh, love God and who are according to his, um, who are called according to his purpose. Yes. And it's true. It's true. Everything works out. No matter when, no matter how, it always works out for you. And just because it's not exactly in every detail what you asked for, it still works. Just look back. Now, look, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Go ahead, put it in the comments. If you put nothing ever works out for me, I'm going to delete you. I'm just going to delete that. Like, don't be poisoned in my comment section. But be honest with me. Hasn't it worked out for you? That's how you got here. You watching me, your bill still paid, way still made. You're going to make it through this, this one too. And it's okay to be guarded. You should be guarded. You should be protecting your energy and protecting yourself. All right. And you should be standing back, holding yourself you know, and thinking about what's in front of you. You don't have to rush, all right? So let's see exactly what this is the Spirit is talking about and why you have to work, uh, wait on in divine timing. Look, I got tripped up on my words just now because of the card that was underneath that. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Look, I'm just set it back over here. But look, 
okay? Something good might be coming to you from the past. Everybody's past person, it's not horrible. Some people actually have nice people that they had to leave behind and it just was a matter of timing. So you take what resonates for you. This is a very general read. If you want your personal, um, people have been getting a lot of love readings lately. If you want your personal, book your reading at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com, okay? All right, let's go ahead. Let's see what comes out. So, we got toxicity patterns and bound. Why is this here? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Y'all, I've been drinking my tea. I had to go outside when it was a storm. <sighs> and I'm trying to make sure I don't get these germs. I've been drinking so much dang on ginger and tea and fresh ginger and lemon juice and honey. What am I missing, y'all? Tell me in the comments because I'm trying to... Somebody going to say vitamin C. I just heard it. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what I need to do to make sure I don't get this cold all the way. Like, I already feel like a little bit of runny nose, but that's it. It just started today, um, so I feel good. But tell me what I need to do, okay? So, somebody, hold on, let me turn these over real quick. Let me make sure I have everything, the deck right. <clears throat> Let's see. I feel good, though. I hope y'all feel amazing. It's Friday Eve. Y'all should feel a little bit better about that. All right, y'all. So, toxicity, patterns, and bound. Let's see. Why is it here for a Virgo spirit? Thank you for giving us healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits as well. Somebody needed to hear that part. All right. So, we got the Ace of Cups, a gift from God, some type of emotional fulfillment. And Knight of Wands. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Somebody dealing with this old toxic Knight of Wands. Now, you know this is the flighty one. Now, we love, look, we love the Knights and everything. You got to appreciate the ambitious people that go after what they want. And, okay, it's, it's attractive and all to a certain extent. Because this person, you know this is the most flighty Knight of them all. This one, you can't rely on this one. And you heard the, how the emphasis on lie came out. I don't think that was a mistake. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right there. But this, yeah, this one is not the best one to have. Okay, um, and this is somebody younger. Could be somebody younger than you that's very fired up and attracted attracted to you. Okay, um, somebody could just be feeling very happy. This could also be a female and their masculine energy taking action. All right, but somebody said, baby, <laughs> you fill my cup. Okay, and I feel like this person brings you some type of joy or fulfillment. All right, this is some type of gift or opportunity, but I feel like it's not really so much of a gift because this person is toxic and they're still connected to their toxic patterns and habits. Um, but this person wants you, they want to talk to you. I feel like maybe are you avoiding somebody and they're in their ego, keep coming towards you with this toxic in and out energy. Or either this is just a younger Knight of Wands and they're thinking about you passionately. But this person has some type of addictions. Oh, this person. Okay, first of all, this person has addictions. It could be anything. Um, and then this person has some type of lover situation that they're in or a relationship that is super, super toxic. I mean, toxic where this person gets beat up like it. Oh, seriously, though, y'all, this person be getting hit by their person. If this is a man, he get beat up by his woman. Really? <clears throat> I see it. Um, and this person be having scratches just like that hand. This person be having, this person gets scratches and that whoever this is, have them tied down to them. It's like they emotionally manipulate them and everything. They could be dealing with the water sign. But this person looks to you for their emotional fulfillment. This person looks at you for their love. This person actually does love you a lot. And, and they miss you, to be honest with you. But um, you stay the hell away from this person. You really do. I'm not telling you that. I'm I'm seeing you do that. It's like you're, you're resisting them. And one time, I feel like you guys really did make each other emotionally fulfilled. Whatever you were going through at the time when you were dealing with this person, it was like they weren't as toxic now. But now their innocence is gone and this person is toxic. And now you're just like, <laughs> it's just not going to work. For some of you guys, I'm not even going to lie, you had this person on a back burner because they're younger than you. So you just was not really taking them seriously, but y'all was definitely fulfilling each other's needs emotionally. <laughs> Look at that Ten of Cups. Okay, mm -hmm. you can high for me y'all been having fun with this person well anyway for those of you who didn't okay 
cover your holy ears because somebody been getting it in with this person. All right. And if you haven't lately, you have have had it before several times and it was amazing. Okay. If I might add, <laughs> like, because I do see that. But um, anyway, this person is, I feel like vanity and pride is getting in the way of you guys really being happy and fulfilled. So I feel like this person is very vain and prideful. And I feel like this is why things didn't get off the ground like they should have. Also, this age difference. Some type of age gap between somebody. Even in this picture, it looks like one is older and one is younger. <laughs> so, somebody definitely is dealing with somebody younger. And I mean, look, shout out to the younger daters, okay? Look, you can date younger than your age, okay? I look, I'm an ageless angel. I can't lie. And I look... <laughs> I do not always date in my age range, you know. I can't deal with no babies, but baby, okay. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of fire in me, baby. I got a lot of energy. So I got I need somebody that matches that. I'm still having fun and I'm also reserved. Yes, I'm not look. Okay. Y'all ever see Michael? That movie Michael where he was an angel? I'm kind of like Michael, but I don't be drinking that much. <laughs> like I have fun. Like have fun and still be a blessing, right? learning along the way that movie was like one of the best movies and i i can't like i think you have to pay for it now it was so good <clears throat> put in the comments if you saw michael with john travolta <laughs> back, back when he had a lot of hair <laughs> but anyway <laughs> until until that tear us apart that's when he was acting and everything y'all let me shut up because now i sound like a dinosaur but anyway and so that tear us apart. Why is that here? And wait, spirit first. Can you show me what the Ten of Cups is here for? What's going on with this Ten of Cups? How's this person feeling with the ego? Empress. Okay. Somebody dealing with a Taurus. We love Taurus. Hey, Taurus. <laughs> See, that's why all this, this water is on the board. All this passion and stuff is on the board because of this Taurus. Okay. Look now, okay, we like Taurus, but um, anyway, you know, that's Virgo soulmate, y'all. Oh, we love a Taurus. Sometimes they toxic though. Look at that. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> let's move on. Oh my god, and so that tears apart. Why is this here? Somebody's in a contract. Oh, y'all saw it flipping reverse. Lord have mercy, what is it? The reader, okay. So, somebody could have got a reading. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Why is the reader here? What's up with the reader? Look, if it's me, until death tear us apart, <laughs> I'm, I'm in it to, for the long haul, till the wheels fall off. Okay, period. But, um, somebody could have been getting a reading. A necessary ending. Somebody got a reading and the reading could have told them that, that this person was reckless and they need to end it. Somebody could have got a financial reading and information about this person came out or somebody is, somebody got a reading. <clears throat> we got the Knight of Swords, the Death and the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> a necessary ending. And Two of Pentacles. Um, juggling, trying to balance or trying to figure out the way to go. Somebody is trying to figure out what decision to make or when the best time is to do this. Somebody got a reading that told them to walk away from this person. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, somebody got a reading and it told them to walk away from this person. And it could be a Taurus, it could be a water sign, or it could be a fire sign, a younger fire sign. Either way, this person is younger. Somebody is older. Wow. Oh, somebody got a Taurus that's missing them, but they in a relationship. And this relationship is kind of toxic. I feel like that's why they didn't get with you. Like, you didn't get with them because you're like, I'm not being your toxic counterpart. Or you're not turning me into no toxic person. Like, something like that. <laughs> Virgo, I'm telling you, when, when your messages come to me and y'all are telling people off or... You, you guys are really laying it out on the line. It is so funny the way it comes to me. And I'll be having to try to find a way to convey it and not sound crazy. Not that you sound crazy, but it's like the, the expressions. Like, y'all get really serious and it's funny sometimes. But 
<clears throat> somebody was seriously serious with this person about not being in a toxic relationship. <laughs> and it's just funny. You were dead serious with this person. Like, <clears throat> so you're guarded. As much passion as this person brings you, and as much as you enjoy the passionate times with them, you can't live a healthy relationship, live in a healthy relationship like that. Like, you can't live like that. I feel like you'll be very stressed out, very worried all the time. And you know that that blocks everything for you. So, you're being very wise about how you're going forward with this person. But they miss you so much. Oh, my God. And I feel like you miss them low-key, but you're not really paying attention to that. Mm. Child, they might contact you. Somebody going to get a pop-up. <clears throat> if you're still on good um good terms with this person and they sometimes they stop by like i'm hearing somebody is going to stop by your house and then call you when they're outside and you don't know they're coming it's like they're going to talk to you and then like well i'm outside it's like they're trying to bait you in to get you to say come over here but they literally are already out there they're somewhere around there somebody got some trees in front of their house somebody actually still have a porch this person is out there <clears throat> all right Tell me who that is. <clears throat> they out there. Look. <laughs> they are out there. I'm telling you, if you get a pop-up visit or, like, if you get an unexpected call from somebody and you could tell that they trying to bait you in and get you to want them to come over, they are already out there. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. See? They, like, come talk to me. I miss you or how you doing? I had to check on you. Whatever. They they yeah, they gonna message you. <clears throat> this could be online or your text messages or whatever the case may be. You're reading. Somebody definitely got a reading on love or finances or something, and information about this person came out. <laughs> guarded. Show me guarded. Mm-hmm. Because you feel like this person is underhanded and they're a manipulator. <laughs> Look at this. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is playing dirty. And you know they'll do anything to win. They'll do anything to get what they want. So, And they're, man they're manipulating things. They know what to say to you. They know what to do. They got all the tools they need. <laughs> Child. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hold on guys yes so with the two of cups this person is looking at you like <laughs> they know they feel this soulmate connection they really really do somebody could also be dealing with the um leo but they feel this soulmate connection they feel this very strong connection and this is you making a decision regarding love or relationship wow <laughs> That's so sweet. It's kind of sweet. Just a little bit. Only because of all of the other stuff. I don't know. You know, I'm just like, uh, I'm like, ah. <laughs> like, uh-uh. <laughs> Two of Cups. Show me one. Somebody remembers this strong connection that y'all had. Somebody remembers it was a time when... So, you know, when, you ha when you're in this soulmate connection or you got a soulmate connection with somebody, it feels really different. And at one point in the relationship, it feels like everything pauses. Like, y'all could be having a really deep talk and it's your time, y'all time to really choose each other. It's like an opportunity. You can literally feel the doors energetically opening to see what you're going to choose. And you could literally feel this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody who's had a soulmate with them or some type of soulmate energy soulmate connection it happened with Tauruses and virgos it happened with scorpios and virgos so y'all probably know exactly what i'm talking about um and cancer and virgo feels it too so that happens and sometimes with sagittarius and virgo so let me know in the comments if y'all know what i'm talking about but this person is remembering that feeling this reading told you to run the other way honey um show me the ace of earth yeah oh yeah some of you guys yeah so it's a glorious win here and some of you guys know that some of y'all know that you had to walk away and end this cycle somebody misses you though um, they remember you closing out the cycle chose not to be in any type of connection with them or whatever the case may be uh -uh. 
<clears throat> for somebody, their person, they found out their person was sick or something like that, and you moved on. You were like, I can't. It, whatever it was, you were not trying to sacrifice to keep them. So you were just like, no. Um, but it's a successful completion to the cycle. Somebody is just in hermit mode thinking about this, remembering. <laughs> Camera, stop that. But yeah, somebody's thinking about this. Yep, and they see you single. They found out that you're still single. Some kind of way they found out if that you're still single. It's like they know. Somebody knows that if you wasn't single, you would be posting your man or your woman. <laughs> they thinking about reconnecting with you. Somebody definitely is coming. They coming. They've been in hermit mode and deep thought about this. Somebody's missing your energy. I feel like the person that they with is just, ugh, they toxic. They don't like it. Somebody wants to start over with you. Somebody definitely wants this new beginning. Wow, Virgo. Okay, what you gonna do, honey? What y'all gonna do? <clears throat> now, you already had a reading on this person or you saw proof from a reading that you need to go the other way, okay? Trust in divine timing that if you don't rush it, you'll get what you want, all right? And we got an empress and an emperor right here on the board and the ace of pentacles. So somebody's gonna get what they want if they continue to invest in themselves and just be patient. All right, I keep getting this energy of somebody getting married. Somebody is about to get married. Congratulations, they want it. Shoot, it's not me. So, I mean, y'all about to get married. Somebody is going to get married, okay? Invite me to the wedding. I got a dress, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Let me get y'all one message from Spirit before I close out your reading, my love. Show me one from Virgo Spirit. <clears throat> Show me two. Beautiful things take time to grow. Look at that. There is no need to rush. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace. That's right. Because God got you at the end of the day, baby. You're not going to go without a thing. All right. Look at this. Telling you to reconsider and improvise. Now, this is about that person. Come on, phone. This is my phone today, y'all. It's acting crazy. Okay. It says, when you come into a roadblock, take a detour and see it as an opportunity to experience new things in life. Oh my gosh. God bless me. All right, y'all. But there we have it. Okay. Spirit has spoken. I love you guys. And enjoy this encounter or talking to this person. But um, make sure you do the right thing. I feel like you are this reading basically already told you what you were going to do and it already says what you've already done or whatever the case may be they just miss you a lot and they want to reconnect all right so let me know in the comments what you decide i love you guys thank you for being here with me um and i will see you on the next video bye my lovies